Got the big horse trailer down in here. Getting ready to take a daisy cow in to be processed tomorrow. Um, quite a uh, chore with all the stumps and that in here. Took up some of the T-posts. I said I we decided we were gonna we well we got an appointment to get her in so once I get her out of there I can work on well there's one or two things are gonna happen. Mallory wants her horse over here eventually. I kind of wanted to make that one big pen over there for the emu. But this, I started putting T-post in the other day, but when I found out we had the appointment, and I'm glad I didn't finish putting up fence, but that is all growing up, new growth. And like I said, I wanna get the goats in there. Um, but yeah, she's, it's, hopefully she'll go right in there in the morning for some grain and hay. But uh, yeah, she's every bit of a, probably 14, 1500 pounds now. And she's really pushing down. We don't have no barbed wire, no electric, no nothing like that. She's been really good about staying in that woven fence, but yeah, it's time. And yes, she was brought here as, well, what had happened is she was a twin and somebody I had known called and I wanted to know if I wanted a cow. And at that time we had just, wasn't too long after we closed and moved on to this property and of course i'm like sure but she has been fun to raise but uh, i never intended to keep her as a large pet um i have did lots of videos with her as you see she's over there right now she's got a branch she's just going town on it but uh yeah we originally had planned on having her process but um, with a whole stain you do have to take them out longer than a normal beef cow so but i don't think she's close to 1500 pounds we'll find out what she hangs at and but we're working i gotta go get the trimmers because recoil on my pull string on my chainsaw i have to tear that apart and fix it but that's pretty tight going in there i'm gonna go get the trimmers trim some of the low branches out but yeah it was a chore in itself just getting this thing down in here but we're getting there. All right, everybody. So, the goal is since she's damaged a lot of this fence, we're going to cut the fence. I actually started cutting it a little bit on the bottom. Try to peel that fence back, get her hay and grain in there, and get her loaded up. Don't mind this mess. She has been, like I said, it's the woven fence. She's fired up right now. She's wanting her breakfast. But, uh, yeah, is the, she's pushed down on that fence. And uh, she did, it's pretty fixable, but this section here is not going to be fixable. So she's going to cut the whole loader there. We have gotten so much rain. It was so dry, but now it's just uh, it's a muddy mess in there. But we just did, the, we were doing the chores. Mallory's finished up on a couple things. And we will uh, try to load her up and get her over there to, for, for the processor. Um, hopefully she'll just go right in. We t discussed putting pool noodles on her horns. And the only reason we want to do that is so she don't break out the rest of the windows in the trailer that we borrowed from the in-laws. But he was like, if she does, she does. But yeah, big girl. We're going to get her loaded up, though. Hopefully no issues.
Whoa, whoa. Angel, or whatever your name is. Stacy. You got to keep her over there. Come here, guys. Problem is, cutting through two layers of fence here. Gotta make sure she's got room to get through. Try to take this layer off first. She's made a hot mess of the chicken wire, but it worked for a while. Of course, we got the hot wire. You're all right, big girl. She wants her food. I want to try to take this T post out real quick, but I got to get that bottom, and it's buried. That's kind of gross, but. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Daisy. Hold this door until I hear. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. in first. No, that one. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
just like. So yeah, like I said, when she figured her legs out and got up there, she come quick, but we got a few more things to wrap up. We'll get on the road. Of course, we got to get out of here. Um, bringing that in, that trail, we should, we cleared it out a little bit last night, so we should be able to get out with no problem. All right, guys, we'll check in in just a little bit. Got a few more things to go, wash my hands, get her off to the processor. So yeah, we gotta go wide around them stumps and out the opening and we'll be on our way. Hopefully she'll squeeze right out. So we didn't make it five feet and our back tire's spinning. Messy must be pretty heavy. Yeah. But Benny took a good old crap on my truck though. <laughs> Never put it past Benny on my truck. Draw onto this. What happened? Well, apparently the mechanics don't know what they're doing when they fix my truck putting it in four wheel drive. No, we don't have no four wheel drive. Um <sighs> They had that fixed, what was it, like a year ago or something? And I don't. She's heavy, but yeah, the four-wheel drive, you can tell the front tires aren't locking in. Option is to unhook this. But I'm wondering if I can unhook that with that cow in the back of there. May have to make a call on that. I'm sure you guys can put it in the comments, but uh, yeah. The red truck is not going to pull this out of there. It's just one rear tire on the driver's side that's spinning. I even tried to put it four low. Might have to go get whitey. Or I wonder if that... <laughs> I wonder if that old 9N would pull that out of there, but I don't know. I've seen other people pull cars with them, but... I think we'll just check real quick, see if we can on it. She seems to be calm right now, but if she starts bouncing around, we'll put the block under it and see if we can get this truck out of there and get the big white truck in here. Should have probably been hauling it with it anyhow, but all right. So we used the chain, slightly pulled it out with Hold the truck. Up, no problem. Pulled it out with no problem. So we got it from back there to here. And you know, we had unhooked, went a little bit further and- Now got stuck again. He says I got it stuck again. <laughs> well. We got the wrong truck hooked to the trailer. Yep. But oh well. So we're gonna try this one more time. Get us a little bit further, get us up this hill anyways, a little bit. And hopefully we will get out of the road. Okay. Yeah, I can, uh, I could unhook the trailer, found out if I blocked the back end of the case it bounces around, but I would rather, we're going to try to get it up on this flat ground, go from there, uh, yeah, but like I said, should have had this truck hooked to it, but, oh, we all make mistakes. All right, guys. <laughs>
down in there, that rear tire, that soft spot. We have gotten so much rain here lately. Can't complain because I know there's people that it's not getting enough rain. But yeah, we should be good now. She is gonna move my truck. And I am gonna try to drive the big rig out of there. Or the little rig hauling the big trailer. Yeah, you can see right there. What happened, that's from the burn. A lot of that's ash and it's gotten wet. And there goes a window and Marty, Marty said he knew that she might take out a window. She's getting a little bit rambunctious. Sure. Yeah, so. You got to be kidding me. And she's stuck again. I I just, this truck. All kidding aside, I probably should drop this trailer. You get caught in a little sand, but it's, it's muddy. But now I'm worried that my truck is in the mud. But there's no way about it. I got to pull it till it gets over there. Um, we got to watch. And the person I'm pulling, it's, that trailer's gonna come close to that tree right there, but we got to get around her. Uh, hold on. I'm not gonna go get the tripod again, guys, sorry. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Oh, geez, you gotta laugh. I don't know what she did. I, I have no idea. I thought she was gonna turn the same way I did. She went out in the neighbor guy's field, and if she got stuck, I don't know. Now she is coming. She's coming. She's got it. But I think she's having issues. I don't know what the problem is. I, I said, I don't know if, I don't know if that truck's going to be able, she's, she's stopped again. I don't know what she's doing. I, she's having issues or she's just scared. What? You're stuck in low then. Now we're good. Well, I wondered what you're doing. I thought you were going to turn the same way. If that truck, if that truck turns out, that that trailer would have made that turn. Well, maybe. But, oh well. Okay. Well. I I thought you got stuck again, no. in his field. All right, I'm gonna pull this or have her pull it or I don't know. She looks terrified right now. Cow is bouncing. Probably gonna hit the first hill on the road and not be able to make it up it with this, but we'll we'll see. Yeah, moo, yeah. She already broke a window out. <laughs> Alright. Are you gonna pull this forward? Um, yeah, I gotta wash my paws real quick. Hi Daisy. <laughs> All right, we got her there, got her dropped off. Couldn't really film there. Um, had a nice trip over there as far as quiet roads. She didn't want to come out that easy out of the trailer, but she did. Uh, we picked up a few things at the grocery store over there too. So we're headed back now. So the end hopefully will be uh, a lot smoother than the beginning. It was quite a situation. <laughs> getting her, getting the cow in and out of the trailer was a lot easier than getting the trailer out of the mud. So, but anyhow, guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all soon.